Hello there everybody! My name is Michael Gray, I'm the guy who makes all those Nancy Drew videos, and happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody! Especially you, Denal! Hi. I'd like to start off this Q&A session with the number one question that people have been asking nowadays. Presumably, Trail of the Twister is going to be released sometime this summer. You know, either June or July. I don't know the specific date, so stay tuned. And before you even ask, yes, I am intending to do a video walkthrough for Nancy Drew Trail of the Twister when it is released. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. I understand this year is the 80th anniversary of Nancy Drew. The first Nancy Drew book came out in 1930, so she's 80 years old. Wow. That's really old for a teenager. If you want to know more about the 1930s, I would recommend playing Nancy Drew, Secret of the Old Clock, which is the 12th Nancy Drew game, and it takes place in 1930. You won't believe how different things are. I mean, back in the 1930s, people liked to talk to each other on telephones, and they used to drive cars around town, and the economy was horrible, all the banks lost their money, and people were getting fired left and right. Actually, wait a minute, that doesn't sound like 1930, that sounds like 2009. Anyway, there, it was a lot different back then, I can assure you. As I understand it, there's also a recent Nancy Drew book that takes place in the 1930s. What happens is Nancy goes to sleep, and she has a dream where she's in the year 1930, and she has to solve the first Nancy Drew mystery all over again. It was an interesting enough book, it was also educational, so thumbs up for that. Hmm, uh, I'm about this tall. You know, right around there. That's about how tall I am. Ooh, phone call. This is exciting. Hello? Hey. Yeah? I saw Max is back on Days of Our Lives. Uh, sorry about that. My mom called when I was in the middle of answering a question, and I had to talk to her about really important sorts of things. So, yeah, could you repeat the question? No, I've never been abroad. What I do is I play the Nancy Drew games, like the game where she went to France, and then I pretend that I know all about France because I played the game where Nancy went to France. So I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know the, the Louvre and the... Uh, no Parc de Montfort. Uh, yeah, I went there once, but in a video game. But, but that kind of counts, right? Okay, well, maybe not, but still, no, I have never been outside of the country. I actually do have a job. I'm currently studying to become a Roman Catholic priest for the Diocese of San Jose. So, that's basically my life now, is I'm living at the seminary and taking all sorts of courses uh, to prepare me for becoming a priest. It's going to take six or seven years, which is a lot of work, but I hope to get through it. I really want to become a priest and help other people out. That's sort of the reason why I make these Nancy Drew videos, is because I like to help other people. And that's the reason why I want to be a priest, is because I want to spend my life helping other people. I haven't played any of the Nancy Drew DS games. I have played the uh, Hardy Boys DS game, which is made by the same company that makes the Nancy Drew games. It's pretty exciting. It's sort of like the Nancy Drew games, except you're playing as the Hardy Boys instead of Nancy Drew. You know, you solve a mystery. You're on a train. You're trying to solve the mystery, find this mysterious lost treasure. And Samantha Quick from Nancy Drew Phantom of Venice she appears as a playable character in this game. It's very exciting. So, I will make a video walkthrough for the Hardy Boys DS game if people really want to see me play it. If not, then I guess I'll play something else. People are always asking me, what game are you going to play next? I don't know. One of the weirdest things that's ever happened to me, and I swear this is totally true, it's the time I entered a video walkthrough contest. 
there was this website, some video game website. My friend Paul told me about it, and he said that they were having a video contest, and you could submit a video, and each video you submitted would be an entry into the contest. Well, I have, you know, a ton of Nancy Drew videos, so I submitted a couple of my Nancy Drew walkthroughs, and every single video I submitted ended up being an entry to the contest. So because I had like 70 or 80 entries, I won the contest. I won the grand prize. And the grand prize was having my DNA sent into outer space. It was all part of a weird promotion for something called Operation Immortality. They got DNA from all sorts of people like Stephen Hawking and Stephen Colbert and probably somebody else named Stephen. And they got DNA samples from all those people, and they sent it onto the International Space Station. And they say the reason for this is if everybody on Earth dies from global warming or zombie attack or something crazy like that, the DNA will still be there in outer space, so aliens will be able to come in the future and make clones of me. That's the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me, is that I won a contest and my DNA was sent into outer space so there could be alien clones made of me. Yeah. I actually made a movie about it way back in 2008. Let me show you. Yeah, some people are angry with me. They think it's cheating that I submitted 65 different entries. I understand that one celebrity has made a uh, protest video. I'd like to visit the moon On a rocket ship high in the air Yes, I'd like to visit the moon But I don't think I'd like to live there Personally, I think he's just, you know, a little bit jealous that I got trips and had my DNA submitted and he didn't. I totally watched the Land Before Time movies when I was growing up. One, two, three, four, how many did they make? Twelve? When I was growing up, there were only five of them. Yeah, that's when I stopped watching, but I understand they kept going and going, and there are like twelve of them now. I haven't been keeping up with the series. When I was a kid, in second grade, I wanted to write logic puzzle books. I really love logic puzzles. I actually have... Uh, whole box full of logic, nothing but logic puzzle books, which I sincerely hope to uh, get to finish someday. I haven't had a lot of free time to actually go through and solve any of the puzzles, but I really do like logic puzzles, and that was what I wanted to do as a kid. Um, I'm not doing it now, but I'm still happy with what I'm doing, so it doesn't really matter. I don't want to sound mean, but please don't. I barely know any of the people who add me as a friend on Facebook anyway. I don't need any more confusing Facebook friend requests. Anyway, that's all I can think of talking about for now. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thanks to all of the people who have been watching my videos. I've gotten something like 5 million views, which might even be crazier than having my DNA sent into outer space. But you know, thank you very much for watching. I hope to make more videos in the future.